Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Kingdom Transformation Network's Morning Prayer. I am your host, Coach Shaiteria Jones, your spiritual midwife helping you to see you as Jesus Christ sees you. We are here for morning prayer as we are pressing in and we're praying through my devotional. I know that we have some um, gentlemen in the room and and so I do interchangeably use the words uh, daughter and son, but the title of my devotional is My Identity is Secure, Daughter of the King 30-Day Devotional. Um, And so we're pressing into that and we are praying And so I want us to uh, take a look at all that we have prayed through today up until this date because um, we are on day 18 so far. And so if you are on Clubhouse, I need you to ping some people in the room. If you are on Facebook, I need you to share, share, share um, this broadcast so we can ensure that we are touching the lives of people on this morning as we press in and pray. But we have been pressing in and praying. Um, Section one of the devotional was all about us knowing who we serve. And for 10 days, we pressed into the character of God. And we looked at the fact that God is good. And so we prayed into knowing that God is good on day one. Day two, we prayed into the fact that God loves us. Day three, we prayed into the God who fights for us. Day four, we prayed into God as our exceeding great reward. Day five, we prayed into God as our shield and our buckler. Day six, we prayed into God being a holy God. Day seven, we prayed into uh, God being righteous. Day eight, we pressed in and we prayed concerning the God of justice. Day nine, we prayed into the God of correction. And day 10, we prayed into God as shepherd. We have now entered into section two and we'll be ending section two this week. And um, section two is all about us knowing who we are. It's our identity security. Day 11, we prayed into being sons or daughters of the king. Day 12, we prayed into the fact that we are the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. Day 13, we prayed into the fact that we are accepted by God. Day 14, we prayed into being the beloved of God. Day 15, we prayed into being redeemed. Day um, 17, uh, excuse me, day 16, we prayed into being partakers of the divine nature of Jesus Christ. Uh, Day 17, which was yesterday, we prayed into being heir and joint heir with Jesus Christ. And today we are pressing in and praying concerning being overcomers. If you have not had an opportunity to catch all of these prayers live, they are on my Facebook page and you can have an opportunity um, to uh, catch those prayers. They will be coming down at the end of our uh, 30 day mark. Um, And I'm gonna put them into uh, my membership portal for them to be able to go through um, and there'll be some teachings attached to it. So if you wanna uh, replay those videos, go back through, replay, replay those prayers and I pray that they bless you in a mighty way as you do that. And so today we are praying into being overcomers. Our focal scripture comes from John chapter 16, verse 33 in the King James Version. And it reads, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Listen. You are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. Hallelujah. You have been called to overcome the obstacles that present themselves before you daily. When you hear a voice telling you that you can't do this or you can't do that, you must remind the enemy that you are an overcomer. Therefore, you will overcome. I repeat, you are an overcomer, therefore you will overcome. Overcome is defined as to succeed in dealing with a problem or difficulty, to defeat an opponent, to prevail. It's also defined of an emotion to overpower or overwhelm. 
You have been called to succeed in dealing with every problem or difficulty that you face. You have been called to defeat every opponent that comes up against you. You have been called to prevail. You have been called to overpower and overwhelm every negative emotion that would flood your heart to take your attention off God. You are an overcomer. What are you facing today that needs to be overcome? You have the overcoming power living on the inside of you. Therefore, defeat is not an option. When thoughts of you being defeated come into your mind, you must say to those lies that they are to return to the place where they came from and shrivel up and die there in Jesus name. Jesus Christ conquered and overcame death, hell and the grave for you. The resurrection power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is the same power that now lives on the inside of you. Romans 8:11. The Holy Spirit is the spirit that you need to overcome the obstacles that present themselves before you. You cannot operate in your flesh and overcome the obstacles that will present themselves before you on a daily basis. You have to live out of your spirit so that you are successful in overcoming what has been sent to overcome you. The time is now for you to shift from the things of your flesh or the place that you are most comfortable responding out of because it is so familiar to you, to shifting to living and triumphing out of your spirit. Galatians 5.16 You are a spirit that has a soul that lives in a body. Your spirit man should be in charge, not your soul or your body. You are to crucify your flesh, Galatians 5.24, so that you are not fulfilling the lust of your flesh, that would give in to the tactics of the enemy. I wanna challenge you to begin to see yourself overcoming the obstacles that are before you. When you start seeing yourself overcoming these obstacles, you will begin to believe that you can overcome and then you will overcome. You must begin to set those things before your face that you desire to see manifested in your life. Speak scriptures over yourself that reminds you of the overcoming ability that is on the inside of you so that you don't faint in the midst of adversity. You must constantly remind yourself that the momentary discomfort that you are experiencing is nothing compared to the glory that God has set before you. 2 Corinthians 4, 17. Listen, we are going to pray this starter prayer, then we are gonna pray as the Holy Spirit leads. Father, we thank you that because we are your sons and daughters, we are overcomers. We thank you that you have given us the resources necessary for us to overcome every obstacle that presents itself before us. Lord, we are overcomers because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. And for that, we are eternally grateful. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come face to face with the opponents that have come to harass us so that we can stand up as the warriors that you have created us to be. Lord, we thank you that defeat is not our portion as long as we walk in the spirit and do not fulfill the lust of our flesh. Lord, we thank you that our soul and our flesh will not rule over our spirit, but instead my, our spirits will rule over our soul and our flesh. Thank you that as we stand before you, we are standing in the strength of Jesus Christ through the overcoming power of Holy Spirit. Lord, we just thank you for victory, that we fight from victory and never for victory. Lord, please reveal to us any areas of our lives where we need to close open demonic doors that would hinder us from walking in victory. Lord, show us the path to walk on so that our feet don't slip, so that we can bring honor and glory to your name. Lord, we just thank you for always being with us and for guiding us through the process even now. We thank you, O oh Father God, that as we have been on this journey and on this road, O oh God, that you are leading us, guiding us, and strengthening us, that you are showing us which way to go. 
We thank you for every single ancient path that you have carved out for us. We thank you for making a way out of no way. We thank you for being the will in the middle of the will and being the bright and morning star. We thank you that you are the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. We thank you for undergirding us and for upholding us with your righteous right hand. We thank you that you never leave us nor forsake us. And now we ask that you as the consuming fire will pour out your fire upon us and burn up every ounce of chaff that is on the inside of us. Lord, we partner with you, your Holy Son, your Holy Spirit, and your holy angels to carry out the dispensation that you have called us forth to dispense on this day, O oh God. That when people look upon us, they see none of us but all of you, O oh Father God. That we will look upon our cross and know that you have called us forth to be a people who overcome. That we will and look in anguish and disgust at the cross that you have called us forth to bear, O oh God. No longer will we look at it and be um, disconfitted, O oh Father God. No longer will we look at it and be discontented. No longer will we say, I wish I had a different cross to bear. But we thank you in the name of Jesus that you have carefully crafted us for this and you have called us overcomers. You call us by your name. Your word says that if we suffer with you, we can reign with you. And so often we don't want to suffer. We don't want to be uncomfortable. We don't want to be in situations that appear to be unbearable. But the truth of the matter is that there is therefore now no um, temptation that is uh, that comes upon us, but such that is common to man. And you always make a way of escape. Your word says that we are never to say that if we are tempted, that we are tempted by you, oh Father God, because you don't tempt us with evil, oh God. And so we thank you in the name of Jesus that every temptation that comes our way is destroyed because we enter into a covenant and into a position with you where we understand that you are the God who sits on the globe of the earth, that you are the God who desires for us to be successful, that you are a God who has graced us for the life that we have, oh Father God. There have been momentary discomfort, oh God. There have been momentary um, um, times where we desire to be in different positions, but we thank you that we are changing our perspective, that we are shifting our lenses and we are putting on your lenses, oh God, that we are allowing you to recode and rewrite our DNA, oh Father God, that we are allowing you to step into our situations and for your manifest presence to be in the midst, that we even now call ourselves overcomers because you have overcome the world. We thank you in the name of Jesus that in those times of persecution and in the times of heaviness, oh Father God, in those times where we feel like we aren't producing, that we would run to your throne, but your word says that we can come boldly before your throne of grace. Lord, we have tried on our own continuously to do things by ourselves. We have tried repeatedly, oh Father God, to enter into a posture where we were, were plowing on our own, oh Father God. But we thank you in the name of Jesus that you didn't call us to work this work by ourselves, but because of the Holy Spirit that resides on the inside of us, we can make an impact even beyond our wildest dreams. And so today we tap into the Holy Ghost on the inside of us. Today we say, Jesus Christ, arise. Today we say that we will arise and shine for our light has come we will be the city set upon the hill no longer will we shrink back but we will stand up in uh, the dispensation that you have given us as the overcomers that you have called us forth to be we will write the vision and make it plain so that them that read it may th so that them that run may read it oh father god for the there are those who will come after us who need what we have oh father god the fruit that we are producing oh father god is not for us but it's for those for whom you have called for us to nourish along the journey lord your word says that when peter was converted he was to strengthen his brother today we declare and decree that upon our conversion we strengthen our brothers lord we declare and decree that we shall be converted and it does not yet appear what we shall be we declare and decree that we go from glory to glory and from faith to faith we declare and decree that we stand as oaks of righteousness planted in the house of our god we declare declare and decree that our leaves shall not wither but they shall bring forth their fruit in due season that we will not be scorched oh father god that our 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 trees will not give up their fruit before their time oh father god we thank you that you are a god who prunes that you are a god who inspects our fruit oh father god so that you can have the fruit that is is worthy oh father god for the calling that you have called us to lord we thank you that on this day as we press in and as we pray that we begin to 
to see the areas where we gave up before we overcame, oh God. Uh, of every false start that we had, every time we started something but we didn't finish it, oh Father God. Every time we entered into a realm where we said we could not do something, when your word says that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Every time we tried, oh God. Every time we tried but we didn't do, we set out in our minds to say, if I get to this point, that's good enough. We curse every that's good enough moment that we have had. We curse the spirit of mediocrity. We curse the spirit of complacency. And we call ourselves into the position to overcome. We call ourselves into the position of triumph. We call ourselves into the position of thriving. We call ourselves into the position of abundance, into the place of more than enough, because you are the God of the overcome. You aren't the God who of the little, um, in the sense that, that we can't have what you say, oh Father God, but you ask us to give you our little and you'll make it big. You ask us to magnify you and, and to uh, cause our problems to be dethroned and you would make a difference in our lives. And we have done the opposite and for that we repent. We have been magnifying our problems, oh God. We have been calling our problems giants instead of calling you the great big God that you are. We have been putting our problems on thrones instead of dethroning them by being the overcomers, by being the royalty that you have called us forth to be. But today we dethrone every problem. Today we look at our problems and we say, hear the voice of the Lord. You must bow because at the name of Jesus, every knee bows and every tongue confesses. We sit in our seats of authority, ruling and reigning with the scepter in Zion saying we will not be pushed back. And that every time we get pushed back, we clap back with the thunder and lightning of the Lord that we come against the enemy by the spirit of the living God. We thank you for every angel that is on assignment unto our lives. Every angel that has been sent forth to bring us into the promised land. Lord, your word says that an angel went before the children of Israel. We thank you for the angel that goes before us because you are the ancient of days. You are the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. We thank you that every word that has been written in your word, oh Father God, is for us today that we can utilize every weapon that is available in your word, oh Father God, to carry forth the dispensation that you have called us to dress and to keep every territory. We shut down every mind-binding spirit that would tell us that they don't know my story, so they don't know every time I've given up. They don't know that I can't be an overcomer. They don't know every negative word that has been spoken over me. I loose you from every shackle, every chain, and every fetter. I cut you free today in the name of Jesus. Every time Jesus was whipped and beaten, every time the cat of nine tails went into his flesh, he did it for your freedom. You grab a hold of your freedom today and you say, I will not be moved. You grab a hold of the horns of the altar and you say, I won't be moved because the blood was shed for me. And it's blood that speaks more precious things than the blood of Abel. He was beat to the place of being unrecognizable so we can rise up and be recognized in the spirit. We shall rise up and scatter our enemies enemies because the spirit of the living God lives on the inside of us. We will not bow and be displaced by the wicked one, but we cause the wicked one to bow and be displaced by the only begotten son. We rise up as heirs and joint heirs with Christ Jesus, knowing that God is good, knowing that he is a righteous God. He is a God of justice. He is a God of correction, but he called us into being his righteousness because of what was done on the cross. We thank you, oh God, for the resurrection power that resides on the inside of us. No more pity no more partying with the enemy oh God but we enter into a stance and into a posture of praise we say thank you oh God for being our rising uh, uh, mighty king we thank you for being our soon coming king we thank you for being our bright and morning star for being the rose of Sharon for being the lily in the valley for being our shield and our buckler for being our exceeding great reward for being our way out of no way for being the one who brings down the walls of Jericho for being the one who parts the Red Sea the same God that answers by fire for being the sword of Gideon Oh, Father God, we thank you, oh, Father God, for being uh, uh, the one that stayed the hand of Moses against, I mean, stayed the hand of uh, uh, Pharaoh against the life of Moses. We thank you for being the one who caused Mo to Pharaoh to let the people go. We thank you for being the cloud uh, uh, of, of, of the, the pillar of fire by day and, and, and the cloud of fire by day and the pillar, <laughs> the cloud. 
the cloud and the fire, oh God. We thank you in the name of Jesus for just being God all by yourself. We thank you, oh Father God, for what you're doing in this time and in this season, oh Father God. We thank you for being the word made flesh that dwelt among us, the only begotten of the Father. We thank you that you framed the world with your words, oh Father God. We thank you for, for, the, uh, for the blood that speaks more precious things than the blood of Abel. We thank you for being the ultimate sacrifice, for being the seed that fell down to the ground um, and died. We thank you, oh Father God. For, for being the one who, if we give you permission, you will take charge over our lives and do things in us and through us that we never knew were possible. We thank you, oh God, for being an ever-present help in the time of trouble. We thank you for cheering us on. We thank you for being the good father. We thank you that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. We thank you for being the husbandman. We thank you for teaching us how to dress and to keep the vineyard that belongs to us. We thank you in the name of Jesus for just being uh, faithful for your name is faithful you are true oh father god you are the everlasting father you are from generation to generation we thank you for being our generational blessing oh father god we thank you for disbanding every generational curse that desires to come through our bloodline lord we call you forth to to be in position in our lives because we call you savior but today we enter into you as our master oh god we enter into you as our lord we enter you into you as the one who knows all things and so we say have your way in us and through us on today we say have your way in us and through us on today as we enter into the land of overcoming lord we are a people who overcome and we shall not be moved we say have your way in us and through us on today in jesus name amen listen i pray that this prayer has blessed you on this morning um, as we enter into today, knowing that we are overcomers, as we enter into this day, understanding that when we see ourselves as overcomers, we can overcome. Because so often we see ourselves as weak. We see ourselves as a people who can't fight, who don't understand how to war. And when we see ourselves that way, we set ourselves up to fail. But we have to see ourselves as ones who God deposits into every single day. And even if we don't know how he's going to do it, we accept the fact that he does do it. We accept the fact that he's called us into this place and into purpose. And so today I bless you uh, with the blessings of the Lord. I say, uh, may the Lord make his face to shine upon you and to be gracious unto you in your rising up and in your leisure. I pray that in those moments where you feel overwhelmed, in those moments where you feel unappreciated, in those moments where you feel like uh, you're going to break, that you look to the hills from which cometh your help, knowing that your help comes from the Lord, knowing that although some trust in horses and some trust in chariots, you can trust in the name of the Lord because the name of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous run into and are saved. And so I bless you today, Facebook. I'm looking for your prayer request. If you are looking um, for me to partner with you in prayer, I would love to pray with you, okay? Send me your prayer request. I wanna remind you that if you don't have your very own copy of this devotional, you need to get it as it will bless you. If these prayers have been blessing you, if the, if the devotional text has been blessing you, then you need your very own copy of this book. Facebook, you can click the link in the description to this video on Clubhouse. You can go to uh, uh, my Instagram and you can get your very own copy of this devotional as well. And then I want to invite you to join my communities. Uh, Beautiful Souls is the place where God turns our mess into a miracle. We are meeting this Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There are teachings already in uh, the portal for you to go through, modules for you to uncover and discover, uh, tools and strategies for you to use to be effective in this life. Um, and they are all from a biblical standpoint, so you want to get into that group. And then uh, we have Leader Souls. It's where God turns our leadership into legacy. And if you feel like God has called you to a place of leadership, then this is the place for you because you're going to get a biblical uh, perspective of what leadership looks like, what your biblical protege is, because so often we have demonic models, but we don't model biblically what God has called us to do. And so I want to invite you to that place. There are three different payment options. You choose the payment option that is right for you. Go to the website, check it out. We meet the first Friday of every month. Um, and so uh, modules will be uploaded for Leader Souls this week. So you want to get into that place so you can um, be in part 
attentive to of the things that God wants you to carry out in this season of your life. And so uh, Facebook, those links are in the description to this video. You want to sign up today. Hurry, do that today on um Clubhouse, you want to click the link in my uh, bio on Instagram and you want to sign up today um, as you are desiring to see God stretch you in areas of your life that you didn't know. And don't be afraid because people are afraid to go to the website and look at the prices. Stop being afraid of going and looking at the prices, okay? Go look at the prices. Find the one that's right for you. It will bless you in a way that you never knew imaginable. So join me there. Um, Facebook, we are going to end Tonight, we do not have a broadcast Facebook, um, but I pray that uh, you have an amazing day. And I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's see what we are going to be pressing in and praying concerning on tomorrow as it is day 19. We are praying about being blessed, okay? We are blessed. That is one of the things that we are as sons and daughters of the living God. And so... If you have any questions about the membership, send me a message. I will answer those questions for you as well. And so Facebook, I'm going to get off and hang out on Clubhouse for a little while, but I will see you in another broadcast. Bye.